everyone, today I am back with another video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about all of the baby names that we loved or more so I loved um, but we won't be using at least not for this baby. We might use it in the future if we ever decide to have another baby and it's a girl. Um, I'm just going to be going over the girl names if you guys want my list for boy names let me know and I'll do that video but these are going to be what I call bilingual names they're just names that will work both in Spanish and English or that we felt would work both work well in Spanish and English just because we both come from Spanish speaking households and it was important to us that our grandparents could pronounce her name I don't know <laughs> It might seem like a silly thing to some people, but that was really important to us when it came to looking for names. So that is what this list is going to be. We're gonna start off, this will be going in alphabetical order. First name is Aleda. Um, I can't remember where I heard this name, but I just really liked it. I liked the flow. Alimar is another name that I think we kind of made up, I'm not sure. We wanted to find a way to mash up both of our mom's names, so we got the first part Ali from my mom. Her full name is Alicia, and then we got the mad part from his mom's name, which is um, Marcela. So we got Alimar, but then we found out that Alimar in Spanish means to like literally file your nails, so that's why we did not go with that after all. Next name that we have is Amada, which means loved in Spanish. We just felt that in the end it just didn't go with our vibe, I don't know. Choosing a name is so like based off instinct and emotion and like what you feel when you say that name. Um, so I feel like there's like no logical reason why none of these names were picked. Yeah, it just came down to it just didn't feel right for us. Right, Bean? Next name was Anastasia or Anastasia. Um, I really liked that name. It's very like whimsical and I liked the nickname Stassi for Anastasia. Next name, Arisa. Also don't know where we got that name from, but it's a really pretty name that you don't see very often. We didn't have any B names, surprisingly, um, but going to C names, we had Catalina. Nickname would be Lina. I just thought that's so cute. This one made it to the top like four, so it's definitely a contender middle name contender or last name content I mean last name or next girl contender possibly if we end up um, having another girl but it's just such a pretty name that just rolls off the tongue and I feel like you don't see it much these days next name is Charlie I really like Charlie I think Charlie is so cute spelled with an I <laughs> and then I had Charlotte but that didn't really work in Spanish. I just felt like it was just a mouthful, so I think that's when we shortened that to Charlie, which is why we have Charlie and not Charlotte. Next name was Dahlia. I love Dahlia's, the flowers, so I thought that was a cute little name for a girl, Dahlia, um, and then nickname would be Leah. Next up we have Elena. I love Elena. Even now, reading through these names, I'm like, oh, that is so cute. Then we have Ellie, just Ellie, but I don't know. I felt like she couldn't really grow up with that name. I wanted something that was good for when they're small. You can attach a really cute nickname to it and then, but still be like a mature, powerful name for when they get older. So Ellie didn't make the cut. Then we have Emily. Um, spelled both ways actually um, I tried to be a little bit creative and then nickname for Emily would be Millie I just love the name Emily 
Next we have the name Layla. Love it. Gives me like chill island vibes, Layla. Then we have Liana. Love it. Lucero, nickname Lucy. I love the name Lucero. Or Lucy. And then we have Lucia, which is essentially Lucy. <laughs> and then we have my grandmother's name, which is Marina. I love her name. It's just like, I've just always loved my grandmother's name. It's so pretty and I feel like you don't, I don't, I've never met another Marina, never seen another Marina. I just love it. It's so pretty. Um, next we have Marcia which is a little bit different, but I have always really liked that name. Then we have Mila, which is actually like super popular now, but I still, it's still on my list because I, I still personally like it and I'm not really one to find or want a unique name just for the sake of it being unique. If I like it, if it fits my baby's vibe, then I'm gonna use it, like I don't really care. But, yeah, Mila. Next we have Milena, nicknamed Millie or Lenny. Next one is Nia. I really like that name, Nia. I like short names. Next we had Nora. I really like the name Nora. I feel like I'm saying that for every single one of these names. I am so sorry if you have to listen to me say, I really like it after every single name, obviously. I really like the na these names because they're on my list, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know what else to say besides I really like that name. Next up, we have the name Remy, and then right after Remy, we had Romy, which I don't know where I got this one. Sometimes like I'm looking at these names and I'm like, where did I find this name? Because it's such a random name, Romy. Then we have Rosanna, Rosanna, and then we have Rose, and we would call her Rosita. <laughs> I'm very big on nicknames, if you couldn't tell. I have like planned nicknames for everything. Getting towards the end now, we have Serena, love that name, Serena. Then we have Stella, which in Spanish I guess would be Estela. Really liked it, it's very like star oriented um so it's a really really pretty name stella estella last but not least vera which i don't know where i got that maybe i got it like from vera bradley or vera wang but in spanish it would be vera and i just feel like it was too weird in spanish so i think that's probably why we didn't go for that one but that was my whole list of baby girl names from A to Z that we will not be using, at least not for this baby. Um, we will, or I will obviously announce the name after we tell her her name and see if she likes it. And that would probably be on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, go ahead and do so. My username is just X on Instagram. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it fun. If you guys want me to do a boy name version, please let me know. I will be more than happy to do so. I don't mind sharing like potential baby names. I think it's fun to look at all the different names that people are thinking and all the different reasons behind um, the vibe that they're kind of going towards. So. I think it's fun, but that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!